Hi guys and a beautiful welcome to another tutorial video. If you're new here, you are most welcome. My name is Chi Chi. And if you're a subscriber, thanks for always coming by back. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful piece. Like, believe me guys, I do not know the name to call this. I don't know if I should call it a cape or a dress. But as far as I'm concerned, anything that, you know, can be worn over another piece of garment, I call it a cape. So if you know the name, pardon me and drop it in the comment section below. So I'm going to show you how to make this piece. As you can see, we have the longer or the full version of this piece on the Naomi. And I also have this particular shorter one, which I prefer. So I'm going to be showing you how to achieve this particular piece. This, I definitely love how this turned out. So for this shorter one, it's just about shortening the length of the longer one. And unlike the longer one, that you have to be specific about the particular piece you are wearing into. But for this one, you can just put it onto the office, to an event. Like, you can just, you can play around with this particular one, unlike this longer one that you know you need to be prepared you need to be really prepared for you to put it on but for this one it's just a pick me and go kind of cape like i said so guys if you're interested in this particular one please hit right back relax enjoy watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button give this video a like and as always drop your thoughts and questions in the comment section below and without further ado guys let's dive right into the tutorial <music> So here is the piece of the pattern paper that I'm going to be using for this tutorial and to get started the first measurement that you need to put into consideration or take is the length of the front of the cape. As you can see the length is quite short above the breast point okay so you just mark out the length that you want the front to be and for this one I want it to be about 9 to 9.5 inches uh, long at the front okay so I'm using 9 inches for the length of the front so you first of all mark that out and then you rule that out. After you must have done that that this is now the length of the front okay so just take note that what we have here is the length of the front so you fold it over like so at that point that you've just marked out as the length of the front and then you now fold the pattern paper again into two like so and after the folding and that is to get the center fold so after that the next thing is to get the shoulder measurement you know ordinarily for shoulder you divide by two and add one inch but in this case we are going to be adding extra two inches okay so you divide your shoulder measurement by two and add an extra two a seam allowance do you understand that and at this point that's the length of the front like so you come down here again and mark the shoulder divided by two plus two and then you connect the points together okay and the next thing to do is to get the half waist length and for this one the half waist length is 16.5 inches so at, after marking the 16.5 inches half waist length i connected it and then at this half waist length whatever i have at this upper part as a shoulder area i'm going to be adding an extra one inch to that remember that at the shoulder area we added um gave us 9.5 so i'm going to be adding an extra one inch or even you can add 1.5 inches at the half waist length this is just to act as a guide by the time we'll be connecting the straight line that is the length of the cape downwards as you can see just like acting as a guide okay and so from this point we are going to be marking all the way down please note that this pattern paper is so short it's not as long as the cape itself but it's just going to give us a guide okay so i'm going to be using this curve rule to mark all the way down do you understand so i'm going to be marking the total length of the cape right on the fabric and not on the pattern paper i'm just trying to avoid wastage of pattern paper the upper part is more important than the lower part okay so for the neckline i'm going to be using 2.5 inches for the width and then for the depth because this is the front and back together i'm going to be marking out only the back at this point so that by the time i separate the front from the back i will now continue with the neckline of the front okay so this is just the depth of the neckline of the back which is 1.5 and then i connect okay so like i said i'm going to be marking out that of the front later after i step after i've separated the front from the back and for the shoulder slant we're not going to be touching that and then i cut all the way down like so so after cutting this out i'm going to be labeling the front and also label the back and then i open up like so so after i have opened it up i'm going to be folding the center i'm going to be folding at the center all the way down you can see that the front is up and the back is down so the neckline like i said i'm going to be extending in the front neckline to 2.5 inches okay so the neckline for the front is longer and then i also connect again so that i can mark out the depth of the neckline of the front and another important thing to note is at this point of the front you're going to be coming in by 1.5 inches and then you connect to the shoulder area like so because the across chest measurement of the front is um always 
um, narrower than that of the back okay so you can, i'm going to be connecting the points up to the shoulder area like so and i'm going to be trimming this out so at this point the front is um narrower than the front by sometimes 1.5 inches sometimes one inch and then add i notch the shoulder and also the neckline area because there is no joining so that i'll be able to differentiate you know where the shoulder should lie and by the time i open it up this is what we have okay so this is what it looks like the front and the back and see that the neckline of the front is lower than the back okay and next it's time for the sleeve and for this particular one i have the length to be eight inches for this particular pattern paper and i fold into two legs so for the length like i said i have it to be eight inches and then for the width of the sleeve i'm marking 4.5 inches at this point and then i'm going to be connecting to the upper part of the sleeve and for the curve i'm going to be using a pencil first to make sure that i get the accurate curve before i use my marker to highlight the curve so this is what i have for the sleeve curve okay so at this point i'm not going to be getting to the tip that's the center of the sleeve just mark out about one inches away from the center fold of the sleeve and then you connect like so so this is what the sleeve area of the cape looks like okay so i just open up so at this point we are done with the pattern cutting and we're going to be proceeding to using them to cut on our fabric so this is a mechano fabric um if you want to achieve this uh, cape very well use something thick and fluffy just like we now me use this is a bit stiff but i don't mind this is just for you know for tutorial sake and then for the shoulder you can see that there is no joining at the shoulder area the length from the front to the back is together do you understand so there is no joining at the shoulder area so the length of the front and back i'm going to be marking that together all the way down and like i said the length of this pattern paper is quite short we are going to be extending the length on the fabric so i'm trying to make sure that the length from the front from the front and back on the fabric is the same so that i do not have any joining and the length of the fabric is actually sufficient so i proceed to fold in my uh, fabric just like i should and after I've, I've gotten the center fold of my fabric i iron that out so that i don't have any area by the time i'm cutting so i place my pattern paper on my fabric like so okay so this is the center fold area you attach the center fold of the pattern paper on the fabric and i have i have it pinned down so that by the time i'm cutting the fat the pattern paper is not moving up and down so after i'm done with the pinning down this length that i have at the front that is nine inches at the back area also i'm going to be marking that point down just so just take note of this point and then at the lower parts of the fabric like so i'm going to be marking out the width that i want the lower part of the of the cape to carry as you can see the lower part of the cape is quite wide so just use your discretion to mark out the width that you want at the lower part depending on how dramatic you want it to be at the lower part okay and then for the fabric i'm going to be adding an extra one inch you know seam allowance at the side of the fabric as i'm cutting please it is better i have your seam allowances in excess so that by the time you're done stitching and it's looking big you can trim off unlike having it too small do you understand so that's why i'm going to be taking that um just giving myself the benefit of doubt and add an extra about one inch seam allowance at the sides just at the side at this point okay so i'm going to be connecting all the way from this uh points all the way down to the length of the cape like so and this is how wide i have it at the lower parts okay so this is what it looks like after i would done marking out all the way from up to down and now it's time for me to cut up but like i said i'm going to be adding an extra one inch seam allowance at the side so that if i'm done stitching and it's too big i can trim off okay so that's basically what you just have me do here so i'm going to be cutting out all the way down so i cut all the way down please at this point if you haven't subscribed please hit on the subscribe button give this video a like and if there's any question or comment please drop in the comment section so this is me cutting out the neckline area as well so i'm going to be notching every fold the center fold the shoulder area i'm going to be giving them a notch so that by the time i am stitching i know exactly where to place where because there is no joining at the center fold area and the shoulder area that would signify this is where this thing is okay so i notch every point so that i know exactly where to place what so this is what it looks like and then i open it up this is what our cape looks like so for the back i am going to be giving it an opening for easy access when wearing okay because the neck 
the neckline area is quite small so i'm just giving this opening at the back and i'm going to be putting a button loop and a button at the back so this is what it looks like so that it can accommodate the head by the time you're wearing so finally this is what the bodies of our cape look like and i fold over that is why i notch so that i will know exactly where to place my folding and then for the sleeve area as well i'm going to be cutting that so for this particular one i'm going to be cutting in two that's in total of four that's two pairs total of four pieces for the sleeve area so i just proceed and cut out what i have here for the sleeve and i'm going to be attaching some interfacing to it to give it that stiffness that the cape carries okay so here's the four pieces of the sleeve area so this is what it looks like we have a total of four okay so this is what the bodies of our cape look like looking very beautiful already can you see that this is coming out so nicely guys so this is what we have for that so now on to the stitching process proper for the stitching if you like you can use uh interfacing for the whole of the bodies if you have enough fabric to do that you can tape it you can use bias whatever you want to do with that just make sure you have your desired look so for me i'm going to be using an interfacing i'm going to be using uh, the main fabric to line it as well so this is the thick paper stay i'm going to be using this is the thicker paper stay so i'm going to be placing the paper stay not on the whole bodies of the cape i'm going to just draw at the upper part so that it gives me that shoulder padded look at the upper part area so that is what i'm going to be doing and i'm going to be like i said i'll be attaching the interfacing on the sleeve area as well so i just put the interfacing at the necessary places at the necessary points so you can see how stiff it is looking already and then at the bodies of the cape this is what i have you know the cape looking like uh, with the interfacing on it you can see that i didn't put on the whole bodies and by the time i fold you can see that it's already standing gang gang okay so this is what it looks like i'm going to be stitching the interfacing of this and then for the interfacing i'm not going to be using the fabric for to to, to line the whole um cape like i said if you like you can use a bias to tape the tip of your cape just make sure you have a very good and neat finishing at the end of the day okay so let's just see how i go about this particular one so for this i said i'm going to be using the fabric to line it halfway so this is what i'm going to be doing so i first of all stitch the neckline area and after that this is what it looks like i turn it in inside out after i've notched and then i give it a good press please make sure you iron or press as you stitch as you see okay so this is just what it looks like and then i trim off and then i'm going to be holding down this particular point at the front area and then i fold this in like so okay so after stitching this is what this part looks like as you stitch you give it a solid press okay so that's the uh, one of the secrets of having a good finishing so this is what we look uh, we have at this point so next i'm going to be um, giving this uh, fold um shoulder area an extra notch because the first notch is like is disappearing so i get my sleeve area and then i'm going to be stitching them together like so so i place this on this and place that on that and then i'm going to be stitching just this part okay i'm not going to be stitching around just this particular part forget about this other part just stitch this place down first so after stitching i open i give it a good press as well and then um, i proceed to just um, attaching it to the bodies of the cape so after a whole round of ironing this is what it looks like so next i'm going to be folding it into two to get the center fold of the sleeve and then i notch okay and now it's time for the proper attachment of the sleeve to the bodies of the cape so at the notched area i'm going to be holding down and then i stitch all the way around like so can you see so i just pin down the center of that the notched area of the sleeve to the notched area of the cape and then i have it stitched all the way from side to side and after the stitching this is what it looks like on the inside please endeavor to weave or interlock the inside so that it's looking perfect on the inside as well so this is what we have for our cape this is how beautiful it turned out so this is, you can see how the front and the back looks like turned out looking all beautiful like this cape is is a 10 over 10 mm -mm. Is, it, is an 11 over 10 okay and i'm sure you agree with me please endeavor to give this video a like if you found this particular tutorial interesting and also share and subscribe thank you guys for watching i am rocking my cape i am enjoying every single moment that i have this cape 
on it's giving me the queenly and royal vibe that comes with this cape so guys thank you once again and see you in my next one bye